This game is so hard. This game is so hard. We just want to date hot monsters. Why do you I, have to make I it difficult? Say, I would say that. <laughs> I would say the first one's for Milo. If I had to place a guess, if I was wagering, I'd say the first one's for Milo. The second one is for Calculester because it, it has more of a meaning to it. Yeah, you not only are you burning something, but you're also burning something, you know, more cathartic. Yeah. Which is more meaningful. Okay. I believe in Mitch. Thank you! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Sanji. <laughs> Frivolous fragrances are all the rage now. Just look at the success, the success, the success, the, the success of oh, bath <laughs> and body work, yes. or smencils, or smencils. <laughs> I, I haven't heard of smencils in so long. <laughs> I admit this actually is a good idea. It will improve the appearance and smell of the campfire whilst also making it 80% safer. Indeed, darling, it's the perfect plan. But what scent should we go with? Oh, God. Perhaps something that will still mesh with Camp Spooky's rustic summer atmosphere, like Virgin Laundry or Passion of the Lioness in Summer Heat. <laughs> Actually, let's go with a Midnight Romance scented candle. A good interior designer always works with the mood of the space, even if that space is outside. Are those, tr are those truly fragrances? My research indicates that none of these <clears throat> things have a smell. Oh, Calculester, they don't need to. A scented candle's true purpose is only to further worsen the lighting of a room while increasing its innate <laughs> sexual energy. Oh, and all this time I assumed I didn't understand scented candles because I don't have a nose. What a relief. I appreciate your eye for aesthetics, Sanji. Perhaps you and I could be an aesthetically pleasing pair. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. <laughs> no problem. They either hate you, or they love you, or they hate you, or they want to make out in a fucking contest. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, they are monsters. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> it's this, he said, she said, bullshit, I don't know. Uh, looks like the scent of midnight romance is already around you. Who says smells have to be real? to be in the air. Yes. Just nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're loitering by the campfire when you notice... Avaravi? Aravi. 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 And Dahlia whispering to each other and giggling. You're terrified of both of them. But the giggling is so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, how better! Join us! Avari and I are having a special weekly girl talk session. I love the equal power stance they both have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. Babes. Gang would all go for it. Yay, thank you. Um, we both love girl talk. So what? It's a guilty pleasure. If you tell anybody, I'll kill you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. My no, that's fair. <laughs> I'm looking at this one. <laughs> Both of Ari and I are monsters of the battlefield and masters of the feminine arts. <laughs> so nice to talk with someone who gets it. I get it. It kind of is. Speaking of which, I wanted to ask you, who does your war paint? You were rocking that Furiosa charcoal look when we were beheading those undead beasts. Hell yeah. Furious. I do my war paint myself. It's a critical part of my battle ritual. <laughs> no way. That's sick, Dahlia. I usually have Hex do mine. I kind of suck, suck at blending. One time I tried to do a smoky eye and accidentally set my forehead on fire. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love doing a Robbie's war paint. Sorry, I just kind of took this one. That's cool. Uh, okay. You're fine. I would do it every day, except Aravi only likes it done for main story battles. And I'm also very lazy and unreliable. <laughs> Avari warping should be done anytime. That's how warriors channel their inner blood horniness. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. You gotta do it for you, you know? 
Bullshit. I can't see my own war paint. It makes no sense to spend 20 minutes doing it if it's just gonna be the last thing a few side quests or see before they die. I can't technically die, but if I could, I'd want my last memory to be of Dahlia in a brave heart looking ass blue and white war paint look. Holy shit! <laughs> I would look amazing in Braveheart. <laughs> and I've been meaning to conquer Scotland for a while. <laughs> Fuck, that's sick. Whoa, Dahlia, maybe we could do matching war paint looks sometime. That would be so intimidating. Can you imagine? Our enemies would cower at the mere sight of us. They already do. But... They would cower even more. <laughs> Okay, obviously. I'm gonna do matching war paint on you two. But what what look should we go for? Hand paint, hand print vibes, urban camo, knife eyes. What do you think, Albedo? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're not a war paint expert. But you She's are good. an expert at impressing your crush. Bullshit. The <laughs> these two <laughs> cuties have got pretty different aesthetics though. What do you suggest? True beauty comes from what's inside you. That's why I say make your war paint using tons of blood. That sounds exactly right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> war paint is awesome. But when I really want to slay, oh god, I reach for my secret weapon, a legendary limited prestige battle skin. Uh, the bottom one is definitely uh, Aravi. Because she, um, she likes video games. Right. Top one it is. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that makes so much sense, Alberto. <laughs> I want to keep watching war paint tutorials on YouTube. And they're always talking about how you should focus on your inner beauty. <laughs> An inner beauty makes no sense to me. Why do I have to try to make my insides beautiful when I know that my buff blue outside is gorgeous? It very much so is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're definitely gorgeous, like for sure. But don't you think inner beauty is important too? I mean, uh, yeah. You're always talking about the heart of the warrior and stuff. For sure. God, I think I'm losing the voice over oh, no. time. <laughs> like, and my throat's like, don't. Don't! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop doing this. Please. For sure. Oh, warriors are... <laughs> okay, <laughs> try, try to switch to a less straining vibe. Are Just... ultimately judged by the courage and violence that lives in their true hearts. And I also <laughs> just think it's weird that you can't focus on physical beauty and that you have to ignore it for personality or something. <clears throat> Feeling hot is a good feeling. I just think everyone should feel beauty in their own skin. So that's why I don't get all those inner beauty video <laughs> <laughs> videos. I always close them after like 30 seconds. <laughs> He quickly explained to Dahlia that she's just closing the videos too soon and missing out on their true message. You pull up a YouTube war paint tutorial on your phone. <coughs> <coughs> hey everyone, it's Beth back with another fresh war paint look for you guys. Now I just want to say right off the bat that the most important thing is inner beauty. See? <laughs> Listen, Beth, it's okay if you want to feel hot. So, since we're focusing on inner beauty, I'll be doing a war paint look using only the entrails of my foes. It's a really gorgeous blood-focused look. Like and subscribe. Damn. <laughs> that was awesome. Wait, are all inner beauty videos like this one? Pop some more videos. <laughs> <laughs> Morning warriors, I'm back at at it with another video about inner beauty and how you can use the inner bones of your enemies as a chic powder foundation. <laughs> <Got to. laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa! Grinding enemies' bones into powder. That's so smart. What a life hack. Yeah. I wonder if you could do the same thing with the teeth of your enemies. Hmm. Maybe that'd be better for highlighting instead of foundation. Do another video. God damn. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, okay. Nate. You, you guys keep <laughs> asking about this, and yes, I do kill human babies to make my face look like a mask. <clears throat> Guilty pleasures alert. They're expensive, but it's so worth it for that youthful glow. It's all upsides. You get great war paint, and the babies never grow up to avenge their parents. Who you probably also killed for the cosmetic purpose if you checked my last video. <laughs> wow. I literally never say this because it's almost never happened. But I was wrong. These inner beauty videos have some next level war paint techniques. Hell yeah, they do. Come on, Hex, let's leave Dahlia and Albedo on their own for a while. I want to go try out that entrails expired look with a inspired look with an orc corpse. Today was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for challenging me to go out of my comfort zone. But, uh, Hell yeah. You know you have tons of inner beauty yourself. Well, thank you. <laughs> I get the feeling that your internal organs are just as lovely shade of red, you know? Oh, and <laughs> I also like your personality. Hell yeah. You impressed Dahlia so much that she's talking about your internal organ. Maybe the next organ you can discuss about will be the heart. <clears throat> God, I hate myself. Eins out gone. Right here. <laughs> like any night around Camp Spooky Campfire, the air is filled with the smell of smoke and the sound of bickering. For the last time, Damien, you simply don't have what it takes. What? How can you say that? How can I not have what it takes to be <laughs> your next bad guy? I'm the baddest dude I know. Be that as it may, you are not the baddest dude <laughs> I know. I've fought many impressive villains in my time who've done far more villainous things than you ever have. I can get there. I can be more villainous. My whole thing is trying to save the world. Why would I ever be a villain? Well, if you don't want to encourage me to get more villainous, then I think you need to admit that I'm already a villain. Ugh. I have real bad guys to fight, Damien. Some of them are probably plotting unspeakable crimes right at this second. Give it a rest. <clears throat> of course, the most unspeakable crime of all would be missing out on a golden opportunity to impress one of your campmates. You leap into action to avert that potential crisis. Hmm. Jesus uh, Christ, wanting to fuck sure. It doesn't matter how villainous Damien is or isn't because he doesn't fit the most important description for a coven villain. Wanting to fuck Joy. Oh my there God. is no <laughs> villain more dangerous than Damien is to his own well-being. Be the hero, Joy, and stop him from causing himself so much harm. Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay. Wow. That was, su was a super rude thing to say. And that... <laughs> Is this just because of my obvious sexual <laughs> chemistry and mysterious past with Dimitri? And then also with Balgor, the single and ready to mingle, and the long hard night, and of course Liam, I mean, Angelus. And a ch odd <laughs> invader of DMs, and whoa. Is it possible that every single coven villain wants to fuck me? Huh, I'm both horrified and flattered. Okay, well, that doesn't mean anything. I could want to fuck Joy, too. You don't know. <laughs> oh, please, Damien. You may want to fuck a coven member, but there's three of us, and we all know I'm not that one. I have no idea what you could possibly mean by that. Right, sure. 
Like you wouldn't give what's left of your right horn for a date with Hope. Ah! What? No, who told you that? I'll punch them before revealing my secrets. I mean lying about me. I have never once in my life wondered what Hope's sparkling red eyes would look like under the moonlight as I Oops. stare into them during a gondola ride. Whoever oh, told yeah. you about my 30 stands of home, a hope for hope, is lying is a lying liar who lied. Oh yeah, she's a cutie. I'm looking her up right now. She's real cute. <laughs> oh yeah. She's a cutie. <clears throat> well, that was subtle. Thanks for helping me out with him. Mine's all cool. And helping me realize that so many of the coven villains are interested in me. If I didn't know any better, I'd say <laughs> I should add you to that list of potential villains based on that criteria. Ha, ah, too bad I fucked up. Joy winks at you and you find yourself feeling pretty villainous indeed. Bring out your flasks! Ah! Ah! Welcome, welcome! You think it's baby? Yeah, what's, what's up? It's me! Oh, oh baby! Alright, well, I, I, you new here? Don't fret! Let me explain how this works. I will prepare you a drink! A drink of the day! Yeah! You may choose to drink that one! But if you're not interested, you're lucky! There's a mystery box with a second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be mysterious. And my name's Mr. Mistopheles. No, there never was there ever. I got so clever like magic. Well, you can choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. <laughs> I'm a wizard in training. For you to test my concoctions is somewhere between kind and reckless. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready and good luck. So what are we doing? <laughs> Sakura chan. Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, well, you. Would well, you I don't take know it with about it? It's a Manhattan. It's a Manhattan. <laughs> what does I that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? I love his smug little bitch face. I love his smug little bitch face. Oh, I love it. Well, I love bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I gotta take the mystery. Oh, oh that's bad. Imagination oh, shots. Imagination oh, shots. The mystery box, so bold of you. So bold. I hope you're happy oh. with it. No <laughs> refunds. Okay. <He's> so <laughs> All right. Ow. Oh, Tech Turn Ghost says, I think it's Juan, the small magical Latino cat from the it first is. game. Yeah. It right. is. Yeah. Yay. Or like his replacement, because I didn't really care that much for him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you say? Will you drink the drink of the day? The tequila, tequila moonrise. Moon that sounds cute. It or does. would you prefer the mystery box? Uh, no. I don't know. Tequila moonrise just sounds fun. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. <laughs> no. And you passed. Your prize is the drink you choose. Oh. It goes. Yay. <laughs> oh. Oh. What do you say? Will you it's take the drink of the day? <laughs> oh, that looks not good. <laughs> no, that doesn't look good at all. But it could be worse. <laughs> it could be or worse. Or would you prefer stuff. the mystery box? Worse, worse. <laughs> <laughs> it could be absolute dog shit. You don't know. Oh, Ooh, the cool the dude. The cool dude. Yeah. The mystery box. So Ooh. bold of you. So bold. So bold. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. I just want to <laughs> fucking give him scritches. I know. Yeah. The bargain? Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have a mystery box, because at this point, who knows what you drink? The mystery box. Uh, every everyone took the mystery box but me. <laughs> Phobia, Phobia shots. shots. Uh -oh. The mystery box, so bold of you. I hope you're happy with it. No refunds. It looks like the sure. thing that... This character is made out of. Yeah, it looks what I'm made out of. Sakura-chan! Imagination shots! 
Creating this will expand your mind. It's pure creativity. Okay. My creativity. This small is unicorn is just decorative, but you can eat it if you feel like it. Oh. It cries. Oh. Okay, that really ups your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some phobia <laughs> shots. Yeah. You know Fuck. what they say: if you can't overcome your fears, drink them. Cheers to you. Doing that is surely bald. Ooh. Cool. Neato. Oh, huh. I didn't know I had to click. Oh, my bad. I call this one the Tequila Moonrise. What a powerful, invigorating drink! I give it that name because when you drink it, you can feel oh. all your stats rising. <laughs> oh! Shit, look at oh. you! Awesome! Shit! <laughs> That's helpful. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. The cool dude! I really think I, I I really did it this time with the naming, right? This drinks this drinks makes everything cooler. Specifically by renaming all of you with the coolest oh. nicknames ever. What? Thickest <laughs> 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 Wait, how can I tell what our names are? <laughs> well we'll find out, I guess. Jesus. This is the part where I leave you before you puke all over me. Ciao! Bastard. You little shit. Love oh, you. Shit. Let's trade places. Let's trade places. Jeez. Ready player one! <laughs> shit! Uh, 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 uh Scary Every... Godmother 2. Oh my uh, god. Uh, you uh, mean uh, Jimmy's uh, Revenge? Yes, that, that is the very same. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, Mama Mia, here we go again. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. Eh. There we go. All right, all right. Here we go. Right, who is go. it? I think I think it's uh I think it's uh, not Mid. I think it's uh King Uh I didn't I touch think it, but it went. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Step the player five, orders step step the player orders decided based on which movie it would be the hardest to reenact as a fireside play at a summer camp. Start debating now. How the fuck do you do Ready Player One? Rocky Horror, I think, would be the easiest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rocky Horror is regularly recreated. What was the other one? Mamma Mia, here we go again. That one's another yeah. one that I think would be easy. It's a musical, yeah. Yeah, musicals yeah, are easy. It's a musical, so. But Ready Player One would definitely be the hardest. Yeah. Oh, my and... name's O Fertile One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't notice? <laughs> Neat. And then oh. what was yours, gang? Uh, oh, uh, Scary Godmother 2. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that movie is, so I can't help with the judgment on that one. It's the best movie ever. Look it up. It's like the perfect Halloween movie. Okay. And uh, it's terrible. Oh, good. Yeah, nice. but a lot of it, it, because it is the second one, a lot of it is just oh, like make yeah, snacks so, and yeah. break yeah. So, like, the thing is, it's like I'm last, because it's like which one would be the hardest to reenact? Mm -hmm. I would. I don't know anything different. about Gang Mudo's movie, unfortunately. I, I do. Just, it's it's just like a kid's movie about a girl who's trying to like bring back Halloween because her cousin Jimmy is a little bitch who's trying to destroy it. <laughs> and she's got a scary godmother who takes her to the realm of Oh Halloween no, I have watched that movie. Monsters hang out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's not like there's a lot of magical shit that goes on, is well, the issue. No, but in that one, you, you like the whole entire forest and the world disappears and like they're hanging on a broom for dear life until they fix the pumpkins that Jimmy kicked. Like, I don't know. I, don't <laughs> I I'm gonna vote for myself part, only because I don't plays. know enough about your movie. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna, no, so yeah, it'd be Ready, Ready Player, player one. one would be impossible. To yeah, so it'd be Mitch, Easily. Gang, Amanda, me. Okay. I can't believe out of all like the nicknames they changed it to, they changed it to fucking senpai. <laughs> senpai, senpai. We are only halfway through the game. <laughs> sure, you know what? Sure, she's gonna be like. A... Uh, I'll go into the woods. Why not? Into the woods. Oh, look at all the little squirrels. So cute. It's so that cute. day, you go on a hiking trip with a bunch of random campers. You live some weird adventures and share personal stories and secrets. You don't know their names, and they don't seem to have their own character models, but they reveal to you that they're part of a different game, a survival resource managing one. <laughs> it turns out that they cannot perceive your character model. You go to the same camp, yet you're part of different games. This is deeply strange and makes you reflect so much about your own existence as you gain plus two smarts out of it. And apparently you gain plus ten berries and plus two stamina, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Afterwards, you're hiking with Joy, Dahlia, and Milo. Joy and Milo are trying to have a very insightful conversation about the practical value of tragic literature. But as a loud nearby crunching noise is totally killing the vibe... Okay, Dahlia, what are you eating? I thought I told you that chewing on the bones of your enemies is a choking hazard. I'm not choking on anything. I'm eating these berries I found a few minutes. They're so colorful and bright and full of possibilities. As much, ah, much like your future, darling. Wait, how do you know those berries aren't poisonous? Uh, I guess I don't. <laughs> well, the only way to know for sure is to eat all of them and see if I get poisoned. That is literally the worst method I can think of to solve this. Milo, back me up here. But I like Dahlia's go-getter at- I look evil as fuck. I love it. Yeah. But I like Dahlia's go-getter attitude. <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You definitely look evil in the uh, classic costumes uh, version because you've got like the Grim Reaper scythe and the, the friggin' robe on you. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it's nice. awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, you both are hopeless. I guess I'll just save the day again. <clears throat> Off the clock, might I add. Hey, the real prophet is knowing you did the right thing. Just let me. <sighs> um. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if these are poisonous <laughs> either. Well, this is awkward. Does anyone have any ideas on identifying these? Dahlia raises her hand. Besides eating them. Milo raises their hand. Or doing an Instagram poll. Everyone puts their <laughs> hands down. Looks like it's all up to you now. Do you have any ideas? Check the Barry's Yelp reviews. <laughs> 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 um, find it. some besotted lovers in the woods and tragically murder one of them. If the other one tries to eat your berries, they're definitely poisonous. I like that one. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, fuck <laughs> the other answer. So charming. <laughs> yeah! How? Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, are you sure? I don't feel super comfortable just murdering random innocent stranger in the woods. Nah. Joy doesn't understand. Besotted lovers are the worst. You follow the sound of melodramatic neighing to a nearby clearing where a man and woman lie in the grass. Keening. Oops. Oh, oh me! <laughs> Sighs the woman while shedding a glittering tear. I know not why I love you, for our love can never be, and yet I... I used... <laughs> And you, says the man, ah, dear love, why art thou yet so fair? Our love defies logic, it defies the very stars. It defies the notion that we should progress as individuals rather than reimagining uh, of the remaining in this <laughs> all-consuming doomed romance until we die of broken hearts or unplanned pregnancies. <laughs> and yet it promises to the end in tragedy. We mustn't be. But we must. And yet, we mustn't. <laughs> but. Okay, you're right. It's too suck. <laughs> Who wants to do the honors? Dahlia throws a rock at the dude's head. It hits his temple perfectly and he crumples to the ground. <laughs> no! <laughs> Cries my the life. woman. <laughs> my life, my love, my entire world thing. I was just using to prove my to my father that I don't need to go to college is dead. Where will I find purpose and fulfillment now? I can't go on. But what shall I do? Ah, shit. I'm all out of rocks. I guess I can try throwing my snacks. Yes, the gods have bestowed one final gift upon our doomed love. Poisonous fruits. I shall expire just like the fruits in my loins once I watched you perish, my dear. And what the hell? You weren't supposed to eat all of them, you little... 
And she's dead too. Yikes. Well, at least they died doing what they loved. Each other. How to snatch their souls up real quick and Ha! <laughs> Christ, the man. That was just your right to your left. <laughs> <laughs> she passed the test. That's so great. I hate you, Gang Mudo, for calling me out like that. <laughs> didn't have to snatch my wig like that, you whore. That's so great. <laughs> she really loved me after all. Wait, you weren't even fucking dead? Nope, I was testing to see if she was truly in love with me. Everyone knows you have to hold out for the woman who becomes so enamored with you that she'd die alongside you with... Yeah. Another rock hits him in the temple. This time it passes cleanly through his skull. Yes, the battle is on. I may not have killed you the first time, but Dahlia never fails. Good for Dahlia. This experience has given all of you a good poison identification education. Coach will be so proud. You gain plus two smarts and one boldness. Partner. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, where can I go? My creativity is up the butt, like, way too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty small. Let me small, think. Yeah. It's keep so going. Cool. Keep building your creativity. <laughs> you keep building your again? creativity. This was fun, and I have six fun. What, uh, hmm. What, you're looking what up? was Charm? I don't know. Charm's the, uh, yeah, Charm's the camp down. Yeah, it's the camp Yeah. Down. I'm wondering what I would need to... I don't know. If if I'm set on the path of, of Milo, maybe I should just flow with it? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, I'll do Charm, because I like the pink little face with the heart. That's good. <laughs> it is a, it's a coop. Oh, oh yeah. her Charm. hair is up. Yay! That day, at the Camp Dome, you all play the classic children's game, The Floor is Lava. With a twist, the floor is literally lava. You're all hopping here and there, trying to survive the dangers of, you know, lava. But then one of your teammates falls. He's sinking into the lava, dying a slow, agonizing death. You offer a hand, but it's too late. Before disappearing under the hot lava, he whispers his last words. Partner, you, your hair looks great. <laughs> it does! You gain plus two charms from a nice compliment. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. You meet up with Milo for an intense session of jazz appreciation, but your emotional moment is ruined by a big stupid jerk. Oh my fuck? god, I who don't know that? who this is. <laughs> I need to take a voice and I volunteer for this one. Go right ahead, please. <laughs> Appreciating jazz, I see. Well, <laughs> when I'm through with this camp, the only music you'll be appreciating is soft rock cover of <laughs> Achy Breaky Heart on Endless Repeat. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm just appreciating this design so much. Yeah, <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah, we, got, we got away from Mr. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I assume, I assume Chi Chi was wanting attention at this point. It's my random yeah. assumption. It's like, father, I just fucking, I crave. Oops, 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 I went, I'm sorry. Yep. I didn't mean to do that. You're fine. I have no idea what, what Milo said, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just proceed. You wish you were that lucky, but I, <laughs> I'm an evil CEO after all. So I'm here to buy up Camp Spooky and turn it into a shopping mall. Wow, money eyes. Uh, money where eyes. is Mitchell? What happened to Mitchell? I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. He was muted. Oh no. Like I said, Chi Chi craved attention. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had to do something real quick. No, you're bad. fine. Okay. I don't know. What the fuck's like, happening? <laughs> 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 An evil CEO is here to turn Camp Spooky into a shopping Big mall, mall, so we don't like Damn. it very much. Really? How to get to be so wealthy with so little business sense? No one goes to shopping malls anymore. Oh yeah, hotshot? Well then, where do teens go to hang out with their friends? The internet? <laughs> okay, okay, but do <laughs> brands hawk their latest wares? The internet. <laughs> Fine, but where I ask you, do 
people buy useless gadgets. They're, they neither need nor truly want in order to st starve off the boredom of their empty lives. The Sky Mall catalog, also the internet. <laughs> Curse this internet. It's got me at every turn, unless... Yes, that's it. I'll buy the internet. Now build a shopping mall on it. Just... <laughs> just have to make a few calls. Do you even know how the internet works? It's not an object you can buy. And is that a car phone? Attached <laughs> to a sports car you didn't drive here? You're... Done. Turns out... <laughs> the Phantom builds... <gasps> My <not> girlfriend! <laughs> We're looking to sell the internet after all. Too many peasants, they say. Looks like it's time to ruin it with business. Oh no. Ah, oh, true to his word. The CEO soon makes the internet even more of a consumerist wasteland than it was before. Also, he installs an Annie's pretzel somehow. Uh, no one believes. No, my beloved internet. How will followers authentically connect to my brand when the internet is polluted with all these... brands? <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this. Well, there's a second secret internet that I happen to know about. Ordinarily, only influences are allowed, but this is an emergency. If we could just transfer everyone else to that internet, then we'd all be free of that madman's machinations. But how will we convince everyone to jump ship? <laughs> Oh, I never really realized their uh, nails change color too, along with the yeah. little. Uh, yeah, that's so cool. It's so yeah. cool. like aquamarine. Yeah, <laughs> like aquamarine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the mermaid movie where she has scales on her fingers that change color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I know what you're talking about. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. I'm glad. I was afraid <laughs> no one would. Spread a rumor that the current internet has reached its expiration date and will soon start to smell bad? Or the internet is too fast nowadays. Make the newer internet slower so people can really savor it. Uh, what did I come here for? Uh, charm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spread a rumor that the current internet has reached its expiration Uh, too fast. Uh, I don't know. I guess the first one might be charm. Like, like persuasion Maybe. check? I Maybe. don't know. What do you guys think? Mm. I have no idea. Honestly, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, these on ones one. are kind of vague and can kind of fit. The, the and... inner and that is too is too fast nowadays. I think that one's more of a. Mm. I would. I want to say. I want to say that that's some form <laughs> of like. Fun? I don't know. I have no idea what these oh, sometimes. So yeah, I'm so, I think, we're so sorry. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe charm for that last one. I don't oh, know. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's so hard. Spread a rumor that the current internet has reached its expiration date, or that feels like creativity. That one feels yeah. like creativity. Well, I do have a lot of that. Um, I guess I I'll try it. Yeah. Is that charming? Fuck! <laughs> well, you still you got, it. got it! No. So I don't know. Out. Who cares? You, you got it. Anyway, let's go. I need a blanket on cold. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, game? But is that true? Lying is a bad look, you know. I'll just make it true. <laughs> it's true, you assure them. Haven't they noticed the signs? Hmm. Well, when food ages... Uh, uh, when food goes rotten, it starts to smell bad. Take on an unappetizing color and make an increasingly number of <laughs> racist comments. Oh, wow, you're right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not only that, you point out. Take a look at these memes from 15 years ago. <gasps> They're so stale. I hope no one's no one's contracted food poisoning from consuming these ex this expired content. <laughs> I feel called out. <laughs> Do you think all of this, all the fake news concerned trolling, shit posting, and Twitter polls are symptoms of the spoilage too? Oh, if only it were that easy to just move to the new internet. <laughs> oh no, this started as another one of your dumb lies, but could it be that the internet has been rotten for a long time now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I used to complain whenever the internet would freeze on my computer, but now I almost wish it had stayed frozen. Maybe it wouldn't be spoiled now. Speaking of which, how will we make sure that our new internet doesn't experience the same fate? 
The same way you prevent any spoilage, you tell them. Keep it cool, wash your hands before using, and if all else fails, preserve with plenty of salt. Ah, salt. <laughs> The spice of life. I love that look. <laughs> we'll have to make you. sure to recruit all of the League of Legends players first thing. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just straight up. Once call you out. <laughs> once you disseminate your information, everyone is happy to switch over to your new internet. Especially since the old internet has really started to smell like old beef. Ha! Curses once again! A band of <laughs> Why the young young adults have left me with nothing but a pile of spoiled garbage and the desire for revenge. <laughs> but I'll be back. You haven't heard the last of Mr. Pops. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? I feel like I talked to him earlier, but he wasn't relevant to my brand, so I forgot. <laughs> Was Milo in the in the first game, or are they no, a new no, character uh, altogether? No, they're completely new. That's so cool. Uh, you did too. Yeah. You're too busy enjoying the new internet. You'll miss how dank the memes used to be, but the hot takes are especially hot today. You gain plus charm and plus one smears. Yay. Smears. Thickest? DG of, <laughs> of booty. I go of booty. Booty. Yeah, yeah. Booty. Yeah, yeah. Thickest DG of booty. The thickest. Mm, shit. Thickest. She is. Shit. Where does thickest want to go do? for? Or you can go to the manor and up your bonus some more. While wandering the haunted manor, you are ambushed <laughs> by a group of spirits. You put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them, and they run away with your immortal soul. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh, no. Luckily, you always knew this day would come, and you replaced your immortal soul <laughs> with a teeny baby years ago. Good foresight on your part. You gained plus two boldness. <laughs> nice. 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 Later, you find Dahlia punching a rock. <laughs> this would normally be pretty standard, but you realize her expression is a shade of sadness. Go ask if she's okay. She's, she's blue. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Thickest. Thick How would you pronounce thickest. that? Thickest. I think that's Thickest. Yeah, Thickest. 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 Did it, booty. You must be wondering why I, Dahlia, Aquina, am not in my usual cheerful disposition. I know you of all people, or I know you of all expect me to keep my morale high. As I am the unquestionable leader of this camp army of ours. You have literally never seen her as that. But you're not about to interrupt her. <laughs> God, I love her. <laughs> you see, it's just I've been you. lately enjoying the many pleasures of summer. As I get closer to my goal of having the best summer ever. But... Might all of these pleasures be making me weak in the process? <laughs> I've been so focused on summer, when before my only season used to be conquest season. I think we all know what the problem is. It's Damien. Yes, my whole thing used to be Damien's arrival. Conquering the Eighth Circle of Hell and all of that. But summer camp has opened my eyes. Damien is, like, super lame. That idiot has zero survival skills. I saw him checking a tree's bark to find the nearest McDonald's. He's the sliver, silverest of silver spoons. It's disheartening. I need water. One second. <laughs> <laughs> That's super understandable. Like, oh, it's Batman. Are we just being Batman now? <laughs> We're all just being Batman. <laughs> Where's the trigger? Uh, <laughs> is it a hammock okay. of dreams? <laughs> <laughs> the hammock of dreams. <laughs> Dr. Fishy. <laughs> no! <laughs> I cannot see that wimp as a rival anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
but as a healthy rival rivalry, it is essential part of a warlord's structure to remain strong. <clears throat> I know this because I've watched all kinds of informational documentaries on being strong. Such as Dragon Ball and Naruto. <laughs> I think one of those might... <laughs> I think one of those was even filmed by Michael Moore. Or Malcolm Moore, I don't know. <laughs> Malcolm. So I got worried. That I would become weak by having no rival. I started punching this rock in hopes that we'd become sworn enemies. But it's not working. You tell Dahlia that you'll become a rival? A rival to remember. Nah. You're just saying that so we can build some sort of <laughs> sexual tension. Now I don't blame you. Anyone would leap at the chance if it meant they'd get a spoonful of this buff, beautiful blue bot. You know what? I don't like that you're calling me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> but enemies to lovers sounds more like an um, Avaravi or a Joy thing. <laughs> That's my favorite, my favorite trope. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite. Why won't she love me? That sucks. <laughs> that <laughs> sucks. Not anti-sexual attention with rivals. Maybe she's into intimacy, trust, and eventually sexual attention with good friends who help her in an hour of need. Fuck. Mm. Mm, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it, Jump. Head first into it, punch the first person who crosses your path, and let rivalry blossom over time. You've surpassed Damon's level by far, but what if you had a rival that creature made out of 14 Damien's? That one sounds creative. That sounds, that sounds more sounds fun. Way too creative. That sounds fun. I that sounds like something that like Holly way, would want. The first one I, sounds I, totally bold. Yeah. Yeah. But Either way, those are both my first, so do I just go oh. with the first one? Whichever one is your better-ish. Which is boldness. Yes. <coughs> Which I think I would be the first one. on the side, it's boldness, so do I just go for the yeah. first one? Absolutely. Yeah, I think, I, so. I think so. God, I'm so sorry if I fuck it up. Apologies in advance. Well, Yay! there we go. Yes, oh, thank God. <laughs> Dolly takes your word for it. When she hears some footsteps at her back, she punches before even looking. But the punch stopped in the in a very anime way. It's it's a very athletic water nymph. Her eyes lock. Hey you, you have no right to punch that rock. That rock was my rival. Dolly is smitten, but not romantically. Somehow you can tell she's smitten in a platonic rival way. They have a hella anime fight. I wasn't expecting <laughs> these. Are thrown, techniques are used. They even shout the names of their attacks out loud. Kick of the rising salmon! The nymph screams while throwing the sickest kick ever. Whoa. Well. I... Totally need my techniques too. Uh, uh, headbutt of the rising Dahlia. <laughs> yeah, that's also a kick, but who are you to judge? You're, you're not half bad. You're not bad either. The name's Dahlia. Nice to fight you, Dahlia. I'm Daphne. Daphne the nymph. You're about to point out that the original uh, Daphne was a <laughs> dryad, not a nymph. But that's not necessarily a reason for a nymph to not be named Daphne, right? You realize this urge of showing off trivia worth bits of knowledge. No one cares about space volumes, about your insecurities. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it's character growth. Don't call me out, <laughs> <laughs> It Fuck. do that a lot. <laughs> Name just punched me in the dick. 
My god. <laughs> I'll admit, that Rising Salmon was kind of cool. But I could beat it in a heartbeat, you know? Uh, sure, and that headbutt of the Rising Dahlia? I must admit I'd never seen a headbutt done with your leg. <laughs> so, you know, we could totally, like, totally fight another day. Not that I care. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> no, no, me, me neither, but I mean, I'm free on Wednesdays, and fighting you would be better than doing nothing, if you're not, like, busy fighting anyone else. <laughs> no, I lost my rival recently. It's a funny story. Nothing important. What? Me too, girl- oh my god. <laughs> uh, me too, girl! I couldn't. <laughs> my soul broke, I'm like, uh, no. Me too, girl. Okay, truth time. I was just- <laughs> Testing that rock as a rival, my real rival moved onto a new story arc with a new, more powerful <laughs> rival. No. Is that tragic? Your formal rival sounds like a douche. No. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't speak like this. It's so hard. Word. Word. It's called acting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing that I suck at, though. Yeah, Michelle. and I don't speak like I'm fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But I've been word. doing it for the last three hours. <laughs> That's super fair. Anyways, word. my other prospect was transitioning into the reluctant <laughs> grumpy alley. But fuck it, I was born for the rival life. I feel you. My, formal ri my former rival moved onto the story arc of becoming a useless wimp. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> I only rival re platonically, okay? I prefer to be clear up front. No, me too. Rivals to lovers is not my thing. It's all just punches and in <laughs> indirect self-growth. Anyway, this is my number if you want <laughs> your ass beaten any day. I feel like this entire part is just like either taking pop shots at me or it's taking <laughs> pop shots at Bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> Damn it, we'll Janet. See the best gets beaten. Sure, Dahlia. We'll see. And then she leaves in a way that's so epic that you can actually hear what sounds like a bitch in anime the anime song. Hell yeah. Yeah! Dahlia's back! Thanks to Thickest Deity of Booty! <laughs> Dahlia hugs <gasps> you! Oh, MG. <laughs> The strength of her hug gives you plus two charm. <laughs> and the intense j pop in the background gives you plus one boldness. Nice. All right. Fuck. My turn. Um, Senpai. <laughs> Senpai. 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 Uh, let's go for Why fun. Why, Destiny? Hi, <laughs> Go away. Anyways. Up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to water until it's my turn to talk again. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a good idea. Big you... hamster, like, water drip. <laughs> yeah, just, ah, ah. <laughs> Before you go to the lake, you decide to make the most fun inflatable toy to float on that you possibly can. You combine many of your favorite fun things. Ice cream, tabletop games, watching your enemies fail, ducks. Uh, the resulting amalgamation is certainly interesting, but if it doesn't exactly but it doesn't exactly float on water. You decide to name your toy Duck and Frankenfun, or maybe you should name it Duck and Frankenfun's monster. Just be <laughs> holding the horror you've created gives you plus two fun. You break off from the group a little early to attend a CPR class at the lifeguard shack. You never miss a CPR class because you're a creep. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, they took, they took mouth to mouth out of CPR, all right? <laughs> like, you know, anyway. Luckily for you, two of your smoking hot campmates are already here when you arrive. Damien doesn't seem happy about it, though. What the hell is this, Joy? You said you'd teach me water magic today. No, I didn't. <laughs> you <laughs> said it, but that stupid sock puppet you made of me while doing a frankly offensive impression of my voice. Damn, that always works on Scott. But come on, why are we at this stupid class? 
because saving lives is true magic, Damien. Wait, like actual magic? If I say yes, will you shut up and take the class? For sure. God, you are a whip in this game. <laughs> yeah, a little. Then yes, you're <clears throat> learning actual magic. Fuck yeah! I'm gonna use it to kill people. <laughs> Inflate them like a oh, balloon. Oh, what is up? <laughs> Who are, are these gargoyles uh, oh. and slime monsters? <laughs> Sweet. All right. Uh, who wants to? I guess. Gang, take uh, that one. All right. Uh, What's up, guys? Welcome to our super chill CPR class. I'm Wanda. This is Stu. I know your names. We've been going to school together for years. Oh, phew, that's a relief. I was like 90% sure that you, uh, those were our names, but you can never be too sure, you know? Nate, you want it? Yeah, I got it. Anyway, hope you dudes are ready to kick back, throw on some tunes, and... <laughs> Remind us how to do CPR because we totally forgot. <laughs> you want us to teach you CPR? But you're the teachers. Look, we don't really believe in rigid hierarchies, okay? Student, teacher, what's the difference? I mean, we definitely remember some of how to do CPR. We just don't remember what the first step is, like, at all. What? This is bullshit! I'm never going to learn magic at this rate. And you're never going to get to the part where you put your lips on, <laughs> on other people's they lips. They took that out of CPR years ago. They did. Come on, say something. What's the first step for performing proper CPR? Uh, it's actually to put on staying alive. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, before performing CPR, you always okay. check your mouth uh, to make sure it's not busy eating some delicious pizza. Mm. Just remember the oh. <laughs> That's me. acronym CPR. Cry, cry, recruit someone who actually knows CPR. Uh, that might be me too. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh um, no, both of them are accurate. Oh no. <laughs> um, I feel like the top one is fun. I mean, it sounds fun to me. I love Boston. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh, I said pizza. Whoops. <laughs> oh. I mean both. I mean both. Both, man. please. At the same time, thank Hell you. Yeah, Simultaneous bro. pasta yes. pizza. Give me <laughs> all those carbs. <laughs> I need them. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, like, mm. like. Uh, what do you think? So I think high? smarts maybe for the bottom, and uh, yeah. I guess fun for the top. Yeah. I forget where we That's are, what but... I think. Yeah, I'll go to the top one. So fun! Yeah! Are you sure, dude? I swear we watched an instructional video where mouth-to-mouth -mouth po pasta passing was emphasized. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I totally remember that. That's why we swapped out our life preservers for a barrel full of spaghetti. This instructional video were either participants you know, drowning. Uh, you know what? I don't think they were. Must have been really effective CPR. And in this video, were the <laughs> participants dogs by any chance? Oh my god, they totally were. You must have watched the same video. You were watching Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was Lady and the Tramp. You watched Lady and the Tramp and thought it was a video of about how to do CPR. It's not, but Disney movies are the source of so many valuable life lessons, like <laughs> always believe in yourself and Alice in Wonderland is a fucked up movie. Yeah. <laughs> Plus it just makes sense, you know? After all, pasta is life, and life is what we're trying to save when we do CPR. God damn it. Want yeah, pasta. I mean, sometimes yeah, me when it gets damn. late yeah, at night, <laughs> I'll be watching TV, and suddenly I think, Man, if I don't get some lasagna in me, I will literally die. Same. <laughs> same. -er. Uh, and who's to say the people drowning in the lake don't feel the same way? Maybe that's why they're drowning. It's like a cry for help, but instead of help, it's pasta. That's deep, Stu. So anyway, yeah, that's why we always re regurgitate pasta into people's mouths while we're giving them CPR. I 
think I just solved the mystery behind the extremely high number of drowning deaths at this campus here. Oh yeah, definitely. It's all over there. It's all their fault and has nothing to do with me for sure. <laughs> Damien casually stops and running three dudes hoping no one oh. notice. Oh my god. But you're saying our mouths shouldn't be full of pasta when we do mouth to mouth? This is revolutionary. You should be teaching this class, senpai. <laughs> senpai! <laughs> senpai! <laughs> So teach the class you do. You insist that everyone skips straight to mouth touching. <laughs> so you can all practice proper lip positioning. Why is the character a creep? Why is my character a creep? It's because I'm named Senpai now. That's why. Yeah, it's yeah. That creep. Oh, that's absolutely it. <laughs> that's right, bro. It's a little <laughs> more clinical than you expected, but it's not nearly as hot. But just being this close to your crushes gives you plus two charm and plus one smarts. <laughs> Let's, Let's trade, trade places. places. 